I was inspired by my grandmother. She helped raise me as a kid, and unfortunately, she had a series of strokes and had to return to her home country of Brazil and could never come back and visit. The time in Sao Paulo is 3.43 p.m. <laughs> She'd always call and ask for me to describe the house again so she could remember, and I thought there's got to be a better way to do this than just photos and videos. This project started off me in my bedroom tinkering on my computer, and it's developed now with the help of St. Thomas into a tool to aid patients in memory care. I saw a kid who was creative, who was determined, who was a go-getter, and I immediately did what I do when I meet young entrepreneurs at St. Thomas. I said, how can I help you? We have the opportunity to redesign the way we experience our memories. Mentors like Laura Dunham and my professors have been able to strategically guide me and grow this thing to all that it can be. St. Thomas is a terrific school for somebody like Enzo, who comes here with an idea, who comes here with the beginnings of a business but needs to develop more knowledge and more skills. Photos pop up. And he is gonna be able to take this idea and flesh it out and understand what it means to turn an idea into a viable, sustainable, profitable business. I've seen what this does for people. I've seen the potential it has. I think St. Thomas is a place that is unmatched regionally, nationally, in terms of the tremendous variety of resources that we have here. It's really about honing enough knowledge and information so that you have enough foundation to clear your own path and do what you really love and what makes you happy.